campaigner among modern players than Frank Stapleton. He has five finals to his name and holds three winners' medals. And now he lines up in midfield for Blackburn Rovers. Well, their goalkeeper, 36-year-old Terry Geno, returns after three months' absence with a knee injury. Tony Finnegan is also back at number four, and the club's record scorer, number 10, Simon Garner, is a survivor from the last FA Cup meeting between the clubs ten years ago. Well, Kent Nielsen, who passed a late test, so it's the lineup that served Villa so well over the holiday period. Ian only scored, and a very good piece of work again on the right-hand side by Tony Daly. A simple goal in its own way, but crosses always dangerous when they're delivered like that. And Daly knows where the target is. He skipped past Sully. That was always going to be a Blackman problem today. But when he got the cross in, it was perfectly delivered, and Olney comes in between Reed and Mail, and the 20-year-old at centre-forward puts Villa ahead with his 10th goal of the season after 14 minutes. Daly the provider, Olney the scorer, and the first division team strike first in the FA Cup. And Spick... Oh! A goal! It seemed to bounce back in of Sellers. But what's the referee given? It was whipped in by Garner. Spink dropped it. Sellers collided with him. And a free kick was given. And Blackman disappointed with that header. It was crossed by Cowans. And he had room here to place his header. And he put it wide, Ormond Roy. Still Sellers, brought down by Nielsen. Blackman have the free kick, about 20 yards out. And Sellers and Kennedy have been arguing with the referee, and it's Kennedy who's being spoken to. And it's Sellers, just wide of the post Kennedy wants it inside he's got it inside Finnegan's made a run to the far side and Gordon Cowns with great perception knew that it was his job to get back that was good defending by a midfield player and look what it's produced Daly to oh it hasn't Twelford Mills has decided that was a foul and has given Blackman a free kick Stapleton, goal! Blackburn have equalised and the great cup hero of the past is the scorer. And the Ewood Park crowd delighted. They feel they should have had an equaliser earlier and it's come now in the 34th minute. Kennedy had gone down hoping for a penalty but Frank Stapleton, the 33-year-old, knew that's exactly when you play on. The ball knocked in by Sully. Watch Kennedy go down here in a heap. But Stapleton's not worried about that. He turns and whips that one past Spink. Olmenroyd. Play on, says the referee. Finnegan. McGrath. Here's Tony Daly. Gage. And again, Miller's uh, attention to Platt is the factor. Doesn't matter, Williams. And Olney! Good effort by David Platt. And Aston Villa suddenly, from being on the defensive, are starting to look threatening again. Their fans are all packed behind that goal. And it's going to be a corner to be taken by Gordon Cowens. And Blackman defending for all their worth. Cowens! Oof, could have gone anywhere. And Garner tries to turn. Oh, and Garner's away! And so is Finnegan here! He's got Garner to his right. Oh, what a good piece of play by Tony Daly. Much of the afternoon suddenly came into it with a vengeance. And he struck that well. And it... Terry Geno may have got a touch, but it certainly came off the bar. Cowens. Ormond Royd. 
Corner again. Now it's Aston Villa's turn to have a five or ten minute spell. Nielsen and uh, Olney are the players in the near post area. Nielsen. Oh, and in Norman Royd. Off the post and in. And the big lad's got it. 2 1 Aston Villa. On the hour, they're back in front. And Ian Orman Roy was the key man there. But watch the flick on. This is the near post corner that nobody seems to have to defend against. Flicked on by Olney. Orman Roy, the second header, off the post. Well, it's quite extraordinary. I was talking to the Blackman manager, Don Mackay, before the game about near post corners. And he was saying what a nightmare they are for defenders. Even though they've had about 15 years to work it out, it's still a winner. Even once was really on top form there. The first save was good enough from Garner. Then when Miller struck it, he saw it all the way. Oh, Stapleton, Kennedy couldn't capitalise on that. He might now. Finnegan's in the middle, Garner's there too. Here's Garner. Stapleton going in for the header. Miller, Stapleton, Finnegan. Mail. Reed. Sellers flick. Nielsen's header out. Back in by Miller. Stapleton's there. Oh, it's been deflected and it's gone in. Scott Sellers had the shot, there was a deflection, but it's 2-2, and what a cup tie this is becoming. 67 minutes, and Blackman Rovers are back in it, and the little fella's done it. The header by Sellers first off, then the header back in, then the header out, then the drive, and someone got a touch on that, without a doubt, but it's 2 all. Yes, it was one of the Villa defenders, but Sellers will get the credit. The defender knows his Trelford Mills. Mighty close, but great reactions by Nigel Spink again. And when that ball was driven in, Frank Stapleton thought he'd made it 3-2. It was a good cross, Frank's there, but so is Spink, and look how close he was when he pounced on the ball for the defender. And a flick on again, Mountfield. And Villa surviving just about. And two great cup teams of the past provide a gripping tie in the third round in 1990. Nigel Spink, a hero in the second half, when Blackman ploughed back for the second time and at times threatened to snatch the tie. Villa, I think, will be glad enough to go back to Villa Park on Wednesday. And if the replay is as good as this match, the fans will...